Good afternoon. I'm John Auten, the RA consultant for Kentucky WMU and Kentucky Baptist. And today we're going to have our camp craft lesson. Uh, we're going to look at a skill requirement uh, that is found in the tool craft area for the Discover 3 or third grade level patch. Um, it's a skill that uh, many of the older RAs already know um, how to do. But for our younger guys, uh, this might be something brand new to them. And it's certainly something that uh, we need to know how to do when we go camping. Uh, so what is this skill I'm talking about? The skill I'm talking about is how to use a hand operated can opener. Like I said, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but for the little guys, they may go on a camp out and see one of these kind of can, can openers for the very first time. And uh, so this is just gonna be a quick lesson on how to use a hand operated can opener. Um, some people may ask, well, when we go camping, we cook hot dogs over the fire and have s'mores and, and have some chips, but uh, cooking during a camp out can be much uh, more satisfying than just hot dogs cooked over a fire, as good as those can be. Uh, there's a lot of other ways and things uh, that you can do uh, to cook good food uh, when you're out camping and canned food is a great uh, way to take some food with you. Um, it lasts a long time. It doesn't need to be refrigerated, obviously. Uh, some of the kind of canned food you might bring on a camp out would be things like green beans, corn, potatoes, carrots. These are all good if you're making soup or stew in a Dutch oven. Um, you can take along canned meat as well uh, for your stew or for making chili. A lot of people make a cobbler in their Dutch ovens when they're out camping. And so you might take along a, a can of peaches uh, or something like that. So there's a lot of great meals you can prepare while out camping that require you to be able to open a can. So we're gonna talk about doing that, uh, how to do that. Before I do that though, um, one of the real primary reasons, it seems kind of silly even almost to say it, but um, the pictures on the on the canned goods looks good. It's like, oh, that's something I want to eat. Um, but that's just a picture on the outside. Uh, the real thing is on the inside. And so the can opener helps us get uh, to the real thing on the inside. And after I show you how to use the can opener, uh, we're going to apply that to our Bible story for our RA lesson this week. Uh, but before we do that, let's talk about uh, opening a can with a can opener. I'm going to switch my, well, before I switch it around, let me show you the two kinds of can openers we're going to be using today. Uh, this little can opener here, this is a, a GI can opener, or a lot of people refer to them as a P38 can opener. It has uh, two parts to it, or two wings, you might even say. Uh, this part right here has the blade on it. You see that little curve with the blade on it there and it's sharpened. And then you've got this other side. Uh, this is the turnkey side and it has a little groove in it right there. And I don't know if you can see it right there. Mine's a little rusty, but there's a little tooth there in, in that uh, in that space and uh, that's very important for use with this can opener and then of course the other one is more familiar if you uh, have one of these in your kitchen it's just a simple and operated can opener it's got a circular blade on it right there and a gear uh, right there so we're going to talk about how to use both of those uh, I'm going to use the um, P38 first on my can and do about half the can and then we'll use the other one. So I'm going to switch my camera around to the other side of my computer. All right, so there's our can. Got a can of pineapple here. And uh, what you do is you that you see the notch there on the side of the turnkey and that little tooth. You want to hook the rim 
of your can inside that notch so that that tooth is right up underneath the edge of the rim of the can like that. And then the blade is right there on the inside edge on the top of the can. And you're gonna hook that in there like that. You're gonna push with your thumb and pull back with your finger, basically rotating this turnkey clockwise. And you're gonna puncture or punch that uh, blade right through into that can like that. Once it's in, you turn it back and then you scoot your can opener back a little bit and you repeat the process. And you just continue to work your way around the can. Now you don't come back here and puncture, make a whole new puncture. You get right there at the bottom edge of your preceding cut and you just continue to work your way around the can like that. And for people who use these a lot, they are much quicker at doing this. They, they'd have this can open already by now, just using this simple um, P38 can opener. Uh, these are small and lightweight. Um, you can take these with you if you're backpacking. They don't take up much room at all. It's got a little hole in it, so if you want to put a string through it and attach it uh, to, say, a ring of uh, utensils or your spoon or fork or something like that or your key ring, uh, you can certainly do that. So that's how you use a, a P38. And then we have the one that's more like a, a kitchen. And mine has a little lock on it that holds it together. But basically, you uh, put the gears up under the edge of the can, the rim of the can, like that. And then you squeeze the handle together, and it punctures the circular blade down through the can. And then all you have to do is hold on to the handle and turn Turn your turnkey clockwise, and it just works its way all the way around. Until you've opened your can. So that's how you use those, very simple. Um, but for someone who's never done it before, it, it takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of work uh, to use those, particularly the, the P38 uh, can opener. Um, but if you're car camping, there's no need to uh, take a little tiny can opener like that. Uh, you can just take one of these um, kitchen can openers like this and um, you'll be in good shape. And uh, so that's how you use those. and. Um, like I said, it helps you to get beyond the uh, picture on the outside of the can and get into the uh, inside where the good stuff is, um, the real stuff. Now, I'm going to connect this to our Bible story. Our Bible story is found in John chapter 4, beginning in verse 4 and going down through verse 42. It's the story of Jesus and the woman at the well in Samaria. And as Jesus was resting there at the well, uh, this woman came and to draw water in the, in the middle of the day. It was very hot. And uh, Jesus asked her to give him a drink. And she responded by wondering why he, a, a Jewish man, would be asking her, a Samaritan woman, uh, for a drink of water. And Jesus answered by saying if she knew who he was, uh, she would ask him for some living water. Uh, she tried uh, to understand this, but she thought he was talking about physical water. And so she looked and said, you don't have anything to draw that water out of the well with. Um, but Jesus was wanting her to understand that he was talking about spiritual water that would satisfy her spiritual needs. Um, woman didn't understand, and so he turned the conversation to talk about her relationships. Um, she was amazed by how much she, he knew about her relationships. And uh, so she turned the conversation to talk about another physical issue, which is 
Where is the right place to worship God? Jesus again took that conversation beyond the physical place of worship to the deeper truth of worshiping in spirit and truth. And as she began to grasp the, um, the spiritual importance of their conversation, uh, she said, oh, we're looking for a savior. And that's when Jesus was able to really get to the point of, of the conversation that he was the savior that this woman and her people uh, were looking for. And it took a while to get there from the surface truth of physical water to the deeper truth of Jesus as Savior who gives us spiritual water or life. Um, but they got there and that truth, once the woman grasped it, uh, changed her life. And in fact, it changed the lives of many people in her village who came out and heard Jesus and believed in him as well. And Jesus used that conversation uh, kind of like we use a can opener to uh, get past the surface issue, the nice picture on the outside, to the deeper truth, uh, the real thing on the inside. And our missionaries who serve in Japan, Ryan and Kelly, uh, they often have to have these kinds of conversations with the people in the city where they serve. Um, just like Jesus, they use surface level conversations with people to open up a deeper conversation about Jesus and the truth that he is the savior of the world and he is the savior uh, that they need. So, so that's our lesson today, how to use a can opener, a P38 or a kitchen can opener to open a can while we're out camping, and also how we can use conversations like a can opener to get beyond the surface level to the deeper truths, the spiritual truths uh, that we all need to know and understand so that we might know Jesus as our Savior. All right, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you have a great day. We'll see you next week.